support our coverage using Blueberry, the community that gives creators the ability to make money, get detailed audience measurements, and host their audio and video. Get 30 days to try out the service using promo code BLUEBERRY004. That's B-L-U-B-R-R-Y-004. We're going to welcome Sandan Sudahar. Did I pronounce it right or get it wrong? You can call me Sandy. All right. My name is Sanandan Sudhi, but you can call me Sandy. That's All right, I'm. Sandy. Welcome to the show. And you're with Invent India Innovations PVT. So yes. T- yes. Tell me what you guys are doing here at CES this year. So we are showcasing a product here, which is a pre-launch at present. In six months, we will be ready with the product. It's the fastest cooking device on the planet. Fastest cooking device on yes, the planet. It's, it's a smart device, and it's the fastest cooking device. It can cook up to three times faster than any other conventional method of cooking. So I'm familiar with conventional, like under gas or a range with electricity or microwave. What are you guys doing differently? So whenever you cook food, the main problem is that you have a container. Something's cooking from outside. The surface becomes brown. And then slowly, the heat has to go in deep inside to cook the meat right to the center. Now, microwaves do that. They do a good job but then you don't get it brown from outside. Right. Conventional ways of cooking, you put it on grill, it takes you a long time doing this, doing that, and so on. We've combined the two. So we have a pan where you have induction at the bottom, and the lid simultaneously gives microwaves. Oh, wow. Wow. You know something? How simple is that? How come no one has done that up to this point? I was surprised when I got the patent, the examiner asked me, I mean, what's new? It's just common. But I said, look, it's not common sense because a metal container you cannot put in a microwave. That's right. And any other container that goes inside a microwave cannot be put on flame or induction. So, so how are you accomplishing that with the induction then? And as, I'm assuming glass. No. You, if you look at a conventional microwave, right. people forget that it's just a metal box That's with right. a lid. That's right. Just take the microwave, make it vertical, open the lid on top, put the flame or induction from below. So you have a container which has microwaves and you heat the container with induction or flame. <laughs> or is one or the other or yes, both at yes. the same time? You can do both at the same time, that's his advantage. But then you can do individually induction, you can do individually microwave. Interesting. And you're not going to have sparks flying? No, because there's no metal inside. It's, it's a normal metal container uh, right. with the overall casing of the microwave. Wow. Wow. And then you have an app, so you can plan your time. Yeah. You can have your cut vegetables, cut meats as plated from Blue Apron or somebody. Sure, sure. Put it in and cook anything in one-third the time. I can make rice in seven minutes. I can make chicken in six to seven minutes. So... I, How has the response been by people that have been by your booth and seen this? Oh, it's amazing. Everybody says, wow, why didn't I think about it? Yeah. That's the key. And you got a patent on this. I have three granted patents (laughs) in the U.S. Good for you, my friend. My goodness. That's congratulations. So you're protected for a while with this for sure. Yeah. And we're filing a lot many more patents as we are developing. We're putting in artificial intelligence. We have in the newer model... An infrared camera, an actual camera, we have six other sensors. What we want in the future is that you have a dining table, you have two of these devices and a fridge. Your food comes and you cook it and you don't need a kitchen at all. You have all your cut vegetables coming in. Just use this device. By the time you put your utensils, your food is done. Five, seven, eight minutes. That's amazing. So what is the response been? I'm sure people are like, all right, we need to license this. Uh, are you, is that your goal are you do, or do you want to be the end manufacturer of the product? So we, we are looking at this product as a subscription model. So let's say Target can take it. We're talking to Amazon. So essentially maybe a $100 subscription that you pay and then for two, three years you buy all the groceries or all the cut vegetables along with the product um, so that it's easy on all the customers plus they have the advantage of just getting everything, no, no need to cut, bother anything, and right. just, just cook. So what, is the, what do you think the base cost of the unit's going to be? It's Any, $500. $500 for the base unit. Yes. And is it about the same footprint as a microwave then? Or? Yes, it's the same footprint as the microwave. You're making a smaller one, and you're also making a commercial one, which can cook for 10 people. So 
induction, not gas, correct? Or is it going to be... Both. You, you can choose. If you, if you have gas, you can choose gas. And if you want induction, you can get induction. Are, are any of you guys else, like, blown away here just a little bit? I'm, th I'm thinking about this, and I'm like, why did, how has it taken this long for someone to figure this out? Did you, were you like in the shower and having like this, you have this brain epiphany of coming up with this idea? How did you, how did you think of, how did you, where did you get the, the inspiration to do this? I'll tell you, I'll tell you. I finished my design education and I joined GE and I, I've been a workaholic so I would work late nights. Sure. And there were no Swiggies or Zomatos of the world at that time. I'm talking about 1997. Yeah. So... The big in thing at that time was a microwave. So right. I thought, okay, let me buy a microwave. That's going to solve all my problems. Sure. I bought the microwave. I would reach home at like 11, 12 in the night. Then I would put the potatoes and wait for 45 minutes and then sleep by one. And then I have to be back in office by nine in the morning. So that was not working. But for three months, I tried actually utilizing a microwave. Then I bought a stove and I started cooking using the stove. And then to save time, I would keep the meat and the vegetables in microwave, sure. make your curry here, sure. and then mix and eat. Right. And that's when I was just started to wonder, why can I not combine these two? Why yeah. should I have not a flame device that can also do microwave? Yeah. That's how it started. <laughs> Sign me up. I found the first thing at CES I want to buy. <laughs> so happy to hear that. You know, it's true because um, I live by myself. And I'm crazy busy like you. And, you know, there's very little time to come home and cook. Now, you know, I don't necessarily buy into the, you know, buying the subscription stuff because I think half of it would get thrown away because I wouldn't need it. I wouldn't need it in time. But this may change. Well, if I could have that at the office. Oh, yes. Yes. You know, if I'm working late, pop it in the office. It's right there. It's, just, it's all self-contained. Boom, I'm done. I'm not making a big mess. So that's where I think I would probably, I'd probably have two, probably one at the office and one at the house. Brilliant. Yeah, very, very brilliant. We need, I need your business card. So tell me where, where can people find out more? And now, when do you think this is going to be available? When do you think it's going to come to market? Six months. We are waiting for certification in the U.S. and European Union. So yeah. it takes some time because it's a completely new product. Sure. So we have to help the certification authorities to write yeah. the method for certifying this. Because yeah. a product like this does not exist. Yeah, this is brand new category. Yes. And it actually replaces sous vide cooking because you can... Cook for five hours in this, yeah. keep the low temperature, it's automated. Yeah. It also replaces a normal air fryer because you can do the same in this also. Keep the microwaves low, put the fan on, put the stirrer on, and you can do what an air fryer can do. Yeah. You can also do what an induction can do, a microwave can do, a normal oven can do. I can make a cake in about four and five minutes. I'm not a sous vide fan at all, but I understand the process. So... But wow, all in one. All in one, yes, exactly. So it replaces five, six gadgets. If you have two of these, you can just cook your meal in 10 minutes for four people ready to eat. And you know what else could this could be used for is everyone that has tiny homes, everyone that is worried about saving space, you get rid of a couple of burners, you get rid of the, yep. the microwave. Or maybe, maybe you couldn't have a microwave in a, in a tiny home. Being from Austin, first thing I thought of was food trucks. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's a perfect solution for food trucks. We, we are talking to a company who said that, look, with this, I get the order. I start driving with the food truck to the place. By the time I reach, the food is ready. Yeah. So I don't even need to cook. I can be just walking around cooking and giving it to you. So tell us where the website is and where can we find all the information about when this is going to be available. It's ontocook.com. Ontocook.com. Yes, with the number two. We need to write that down so we don't forget it. Uh, well, we got it on tape or on di digital. Ontocook.com. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. Sandy, congratulations. Congratulations. This, Thanks, man. This, you know, this is the coolest product that's came across this desk, this show. Thank you very much, man. Thanks a lot. Thank you much for being on. And thank again, you for your time, guys. Yes, Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye-bye. TPN CES 2022 coverage is executive produced by Michelle Mendez. Technical directors are Kurt Corliss and Adam Barker. 
Associate producers are Nancy Ertz and Maurice McCoy. Interviews are edited by Joe Minnie. Hosts are Marlo Anderson, Todd Cochran, Scott Ertz, Christopher Jordan, Danielle Mendez, and Alante Sparks. Las Vegas Studio provided by HC Productions. Remote Studio provided by Plug Hits Productions. This has been a Tech Podcast Network production. Copyright 2022.